Chilling in our spread chair is a lady who wears many hats. She is a Christian, mother, teacher, entrepreneur, justice of the peace, community service worker, and a volunteer. In 2015, she was crowned JCDC Miss St. Elizabeth. We welcome to the spread chair now. The creative and colorful, brave, Shalisha Bika. Shalisha, a sparkly welcome to you. Thank you so very much, Mrs. Fire. It's good to have you. It's good to have you. So, Shalisha, you won the prestigious crown, Miss St. Elizabeth, in 2015. What was that journey like for you? Okay, that journey, it was grace under pressure. It was bittersweet. However, I garnered much experience from that journey, one of the best to date. Along that journey, I learned to be more self-disciplined because everything worked off time, whether it be for functions, to go to the studio when I would have advanced to nationals in Kingston, discipline, I had to be self-disciplined. Also, I ultimately had to keep God at the forefront of it all. He brought me through. There were rough days, days when I cried, days when I couldn't get the talent piece well, <laughs> days when I thought that, oh Lord, I don't, you know, I don't understand much of what's happening to go explain the interview, but God kept me through. Also, my parish manager, Miss Day, at the time, she was of utmost help and I'm grateful. I got to, you know, by meeting other queens and nationals, you know, it, it created a networking platform yes. for me. And up to date, many of the ladies and I will still correspond. And it's just awesome. Great learning experience, going to events, meeting individuals of different ranks. It was just awesome and the platform to serve that was one of the most rewarding of it for me. Wow. I love serving and so that was just great for me to go to different homes and different events because people see you doing these things sometimes they think uh, that you're paid yes. and you're not paid but because you do it so well and you love what you do and you're always going, it's just a part of you and once you do it from the heart then you, you shouldn't have a problem. It's something that you can say and do it for the love and do it for the Right, life. not for the life. Beautiful yes. journey, shining sure. Yes. So as a, a queen in 2015, what is it that you discovered about yourself? Just give me one self-discovery that you made on this beautiful journey. Okay, along this beautiful journey, once one thing that I really discovered is that I was very influ influential. And so I had to take myself one second. I had to talk to myself. No, I'm not crazy, but <laughs> that's okay because <laughs> I know that. Right? No, I had to say to myself that look, you're so influential. So you, you know that you're going to use this now in a positive light to impact lives. Wow. Yes, and that's what I really discovered about me. Wow, that is just awesome, Shalisha. So Shalisha, with all of the things that you have to do. How do you create a balance as a young multi-potentialite? How do you create the balance as a young professional and personally? Well, how do I create the balance? This is never easy. It's never easy to be honest. I try to be, I try to create a schedule and stick to it as best as I possibly can. There are days when I mess up, there are days when I end up being late, there are days when one day later I realize, oh, but yesterday I had that Zoom meeting. And so I have to write things down. Right. There are times when I have to just drop everything and just breathe. Yeah, because striking that balance, it's, it's just hard. But I try, there are days when I'm on track, there are days when it's just not happening. 
and that's okay. Yes. It's okay for it not to happen, but the most important thing is that you come back again right. and you continue on this So I always have to have a schedule, work with time as best as I possibly can, and that's how I get through things. Wow, that's just beautiful. So Shailin, sure you're a teacher by profession. Yes, I am. Yes, you're a teacher. Of social studies and geography at the secondary level. Okay, yes. you're a teacher. Yes. Who teaches social studies and geography? Now, as an educator, Sharisha, I want you to share with us one initiative that you would implement in all schools if you had that opportunity. And why would you do it? Okay, thank you. So, one initiative that I would implement in all schools. I am going to I'm going to take it to the secondary level in all secondary schools at that level. It would be so have each student leave with a skill, wow. be certified. Yes. Why? We we'll find that today when they graduate and they're out in the world, some of them they do not matriculate into a tertiary institution right away, some not at all. Right. And they find that they're just out there, nothing to do, can't find a job. Had they gotten a skill and was certified maybe in high school, then I believe that they could, you know, use that skill to either start a business, make things based on their skills, and sell, become an entrepreneur right. in their own right. Yes, so that's what I, that's an initiative that I would each student, it's a must that they need a skill. Wow. Yes, a certified. A certified skill. And right. that's important in our society today. Yes. yes. So, Shalisha, you are a proud mother. Describe Shalisha's chapter of motherhood. Okay, Shalisha's chapter of motherhood. It is a blessing, it is fun. Crazy, <laughs> filled with tears. Oh yes, <laughs> but all in all, it's a choice one. You know, my son Dr. Dre, he brings so much joy, and even when there are days when I feel like I can't get up to even bathe him, one look at him and then I just have to move. You oh know, he melts me on. <laughs> you know, I just have to move, but. My chapter of motherhood, I have learned a lot, I have grown. During pregnancy, I never thought that I could do some of the things that I know master. You understand? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm a multitask so great that I have to wonder, like, I never thought I could do this. But you're doing it yes, now. I'm making a cereal, I'm back tending to him, giving him that, doing something else. Wow. Maybe typing a letter, and it's just... It's an awesome but, feeling. Yes, it's an awesome feeling. However, there are days when you know you have to seek encouragement from others. Okay? Yes. You know, you are your circle. Because yes. We ought to have a circle, one that we can always bounce back on, one that can build us up, one that can help us to move from, you know, the dawn days. This chapter also has futuristic ideas wow. and the other I, I like to speak life yes. and so I call him Dr. Okay. Joy. People might look at it and say, oh she extra you know where that's from but they wouldn't understand. I'm just speaking life. The it word the yes. word the word tongue is powerful. Yes it is said and that I find that is in the power of the tongue. I it doesn't necessarily mean that he will become a doctor. Who to tell he might become a doctor likewise he may just be a large scale farmer. And That's whatever, right. but whatever, whatever that he, is, he will still be a doctor. He's a doctor at it. Whatever yes. he does, yeah. he's a doctor. Doctor in his farm. That's right. True. He's a mechanic. He's gonna be doctor mechanic. Yes. Wow. And so I try to include him in all things positive. I try to expose him to all things positive. I try to give him the best of everything. The best, not necessarily meaning the most expensive. Right. Because some people think that all oh, the best is you know, the most expensive, but no. And. Grow, I grow him in the way of the Lord. We have our worship sessions. You'll see him. Once he hears a praise and worship song, you'll see him. He just knows. <laughs> and you know, that is just so warming. It's, wow. it's, it's welcoming. It's, it's
shift me to do everything that I can to create a better life for him and to give him a great future. So we could safely say that Dr. Dre is your number one motivator. Outside of God? Outside of God. Yes. Wow. Yes. Such a beautiful and inspiring story of motherhood. Shaisha, you are a young entrepreneur. Yes. You have started out this journey. Congratulations. Thank you. And I pray God's blessing on it. Now, as you are experiencing this as a young person, what are two ingredients that are necessary for you to travel this path? Two ingredients necessary. First of all, I have to block out the noise. Yes, because you find that persons always have something to say. They always have, no, and the most times it's nothing encouraging. You understand? And starting out, just starting out, you have to block out the noise and focus on the business. Focus on your products and just push just do what you, you 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 have set out to do you know so i believe that that is something important that every everyone can adopt if they yes. haven't already adopted just block out the noise just focus on you on the business and do what you must and that is key yes and another is marketing marketing is very important yes you have to even when you think you, you're not seeing the likes you're not seeing the comments, yes. you're not seeing the sales probably, you have to keep marketing yourself, you have to keep putting yourself out there. That is and true. Yes, and those are two key ingredients because if you don't, you can't really just depend on others. To yes. You have to do it yourself, you have to be consistent, you have to be persistent. Wow. Yes. So tell me now, what is the inspiration behind Charlie's solution? I started using turmeric, turmeric soap for myself and I was seeing great results and later, months later, I just got up one day and I said I am going to try my hand at it. I had the money to start up and before going in and making the order, I would have consulted my business partner and he said, for it and so within two hours I would have placed the order wow. and I started putting things to you know the graphics and the flyers to put out there and it was really a leap of faith. Wow. It's nothing that I thought of for months or weeks. Just it was just a spontaneous yes. and, I, I, and I went for it you know <laughs> and the name now oh god I went through so and I decided, it was the night after I placed the order, I decided I'm going to sleep on it. And then whatever I wake up with, that's I, it. Right, but Charlie's, it was either going to be, it was going to be between Charlie's or Leeds. But when I woke up that morning, I, you know, Charlie's, and I, I, I said to myself, seeing that my Facebook and Instagram handle there already in Charlie's, I said, I'm going to work with that, yes. that, that is already out there. And so the last part of it, I woke up with solutions. I said, oh, yes. That's right. Yes, yes. And I'm going to use it. And so I decided that's it. It has an answering, Charlie's solution. Yes. So for all of my sparkles out there, be sure to check out Charlie's solution. Can you remind us of your handles? Okay, so on Facebook, it is Strong One Charlie. And on Instagram, it is strong one underscore charity so you can check out those two handles and make your order i promise you it will be great sparkles here we are with young entrepreneur charlie the face of charlie's solution charlie we're asking you to talk about your products now tell our sparkles what you have and what they need to get to get it okay sure so this is the bitter miracle soul it has aloe vera, cerasi, coconut oil, and guaco bush. Now, it may get rid of because I'm not going to tell you that. Yes, it's going to go all right away. It may get rid of what's not limited to 
liver spot, eczema, acne, blackheads, rashes, scar, itching, wrinkles, sunburn. So this is the bitter miracle soap for all you persons who believe in the bush. Right. Yes. So Charlie, yes. how much a sparkle can get a bitter miracle for? A sparkle can get a bitter miracle for eight hundred dollars. All the soap are for eight hundred dollars per bar. Yes. And we also have the turmeric soap, same benefits as the bitter miracle bars, acne, rashes, and it exfoliates the skin. I also added one week later the turmeric lip balm. This has all natural ingredients, coconut oil, beeswax, almond oil, avocado, turmeric, and flavor. It smells great, it tastes great, and it moistens the lips. Likewise, it restores, it helps to restore the, your, your natural lip color. Wow. Yes. So, Sounding good, Charlie. Yes, I can't let the opportunity pass without me making my purchase. That's so I'm very excited about trying it. Yes. I have seen it for a while, yes. but I've been waiting for the right opportunity to do so. And I think just today I need to become a Charlie Solutionite. Yes. <laughs> and so, Charlie, I would like uh, my package of uh, turmeric soap and a lip balm. That's what I'm going to try. All right, I have it packaged right here for you. Your turmeric soap and your lip balm. And my thank you for making it. It's twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Thank you yeah. for making it, Charlie Solution. Yay! I love the packaging. I love the packaging. Look at it for sparkles. It's a beautiful package, and she does deliver too, right, Charlie? Yes. And she does international packaging as well. Right. So for all our international people, you can go out, check her out. Yes, and I'll let you have your receipt at the end of Mission Sparks. Not a problem, Shari. Yes. It's now time for Fun Spark. So Shari Show, we're going to be doing something fun, nothing yes. hard. You are going to be required to use one expression to express your feelings about the following. Are you ready? And when you get there, it's closed. Oh, gee. Praise and worship. Amazing. You hear your favorite song. We love you and we're happy to have you always. 
Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. We want to hear from you. Direct message us on our Instagram page at the Hands Spark. Remember to spark beautifully every day in every way. Thanks for watching.